Mandis here, and welcome back to another episode on the Obsidian Order server. So, in the last episode, we ended up making these lovely tunnels here, and we are, in fact, going to be returning to the Nether in order to do another project. However, first, I would very much like to actually get to work on something at spawn. Again, go figure. I, I apparently am, like, <laughs> I'm trying to completely avoid my base, but hey, you know, <laughs> well... Well, at, at some point, we will return back to the base to actually do some work out there. I know that, you know, we ended up, you know, getting with Sunfire earlier in order to actually, you know, get flowers to make a flower farm. And, yeah, we still haven't made that. <laughs> so, yeah, so we will at some point return back to the, you know, to our actual base. But today we are going to be working on... A building a spawn as a community building so that people can drop off, you know, all kinds of stuff. There's also been several chests from, you know, just kind of random chests throughout spawn. So when I did a whole bunch of cleanup, I, I had a whole bunch of stuff that really didn't belong to anybody. So I was like, okay, we need some place to put this. So we are going to be first working on the community drop off at spawn. So uh, let's get to work. So here is the final build that you guys saw me working on in the time lapse. Definitely, you know, definitely really tried my hand at kind of roughing things up. So I ended up using the polished andesite and the stone brick. And then we got the cyan wool and the cyan concrete. And then we've got the, the spruce and the dark oak. And yeah, just really tried to rough it up. And oh, and then up there too, we got, I think, let's see, andesite, cobble, and gravel. Just to kind of, you know, make the, make everything look a little bit, you know, a little bit more like it's been here for a while. So maybe this was here, you know, like pre, pre-castle. You never know. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in here, let's go ahead and head inside. So we've got the, we've got all kinds of chests that people can end up dropping things off. And then most of the stuff in here right now, but probably all of the stuff in here right now, it has... All the, you know, from like the different chests and stuff that I found around spawn that didn't really, you know, belong to anybody or they belong to people who aren't on the server anymore. And so just trying to clean up spawn so we can kind of move forward in different areas. And so I put all this stuff in here. And then we've also got this room back here right now. There's just a bed. And so if anybody needs a bed to sleep in, we've got that. Um, I need to figure out because I'm thinking about possibly making a like a smelter in there in case we end up with a whole lot of donations of netherrack, then we can turn it all into, you know, like the nether brick and stuff. 
But yeah, so that is the first project for today. All wrapped up. Definitely really happy with the way that this ended up turning out. So the next step is for us to go ahead and head into the nether. And um, the project there is going to be the holiday tunnel. Because the hol holiday tunnel is actually right next to mine and ran into a slight problem when I was doing my tunnel. And that it really, yeah, my tunnel ended up taking up a lot more space and going into where the holiday tum tunnel ended up being, you know, like originally being. And so we are going to do just a, you know, a little area as kind of like an entrance into the holiday tunnel so that we can kind of make the pathway kind of move over some because this is the original path here so we are going to have an area that goes through here to you know kind of make it so that we can get all the way down here and then it'll end up well there's going to be a house at the end here and then we can come out and then onto the path here and then that way, you know, people can end up actually making it all the way. And then we'll do a different design for the tunnel that goes all the way down. And of course, of course, as soon as I turn my back and how much you want to bet I hit the pigment. Nope. Okay, sweet. I didn't hit the pigment. <laughs> yeah, that's that's been the, the problem that, yeah, these these have been spawning a whole lot in here. Um yeah, so we are going to get to work on this so that people have a slightly safer way to actually get there without having to worry about all of these lovely spawns. So let's go ahead and get to work.
So here is the final tunnel from, you know, from that time lapse that you guys had just watched. So we got these ones right here. These are just facades and these were actually designed by Adela um, for the village. And I was like, Hey, can I use some of that as, you know, kind of like for, you know, the entrance into the actual tunnel. And she had agreed to let me use those. So definitely thank you, Adela. And then down here, we've got, you know, little piles of snow. We got our snowmen with their little orange caps. So nothing spawns on them. I tried very hard to make sure that nothing actually was able to spawn in these. And I think so far, I mean, so far I haven't had anything spawn in here. So I might have actually, I might have actually accomplished it. <laughs> but yeah, and then as you come down here, I decided in this little area here, I decided to put, you know, I love, you know, some of the actual heads. So we've got the, let's see, I think that's a bag of emeralds, a honey pot. That's a bag of gold. Yep. And then we got the diamonds and then a little cake. And then this right here, this goes into the little house here. So I forgot to put up the painting in the, in the time lapse. We've got some books up here. We've got the monster book. I really wanted to use him in something. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm going to use him here. I think he looks adorable. And then nice little fireplace here. And then this comes out into the main tunnel. So the next step then is to actually design this tunnel. And this actually goes down pretty far. This is, this is a very, very, very long tunnel. But likely it is all encased. Granted, some of the things are only like one thick. And so it is going to be interesting. Because so you can tell right here, this is, this is a tree. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see about trying to replace this stuff, but yeah, it goes, it goes on, it goes on forever and ever and ever. We don't actually need to go all the way down in order to actually get there. So I'm definitely thinking that the main tunnel needs to be a relatively easy pattern. That way we don't, yeah, we don't run into too many issues with, you know, actually building it and, you know, of course materials. Materials are going to be, I think the biggest thing you know, with, with that, that whole tunnel, just for the sheer size of it. But I think that, you know, if, if we actually create somewhat of a relatively easy pattern and stuff, it, you know, it'll, it'll definitely go by really, really quick. So it doesn't necessarily matter that the tunnel goes on absolutely forever. But yeah, so I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I know, um, usually I don't end up doing two time lapses, but, um, yeah, this, this kind of seemed, this kind of seemed appropriate. I mean, I've, I've been working on this stuff kind of on and off and yeah, it work, you know, actually working during the day and stuff hasn't been all that possible. So it definitely made a little bit more sense to actually be able to kind of record stuff without, you know, without any sound <laughs> and then kind of take advantage later on in the day to actually, you know, go and, you know, kind of record the, the voice recordings, you know, like this one. <laughs> So yeah, so I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I am going to go and get to work trying to figure out what to do with, you know, with the rest of the tunnel and then try to get moving forward with a project, um, possibly, possibly at the base. It might be, you know, it might be nice to actually go back and try to do something there. So yeah, so definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed and if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.